We are here at the Frick Collection right off of Central Park in New York City, and we are looking at a painting by Giovanni Bellini called St. Francis in the Desert, which was a part of the early Renaissance, and it was painted in 1480. Bellini was considered one of the masters of the time, even by other artists such as Durer. This piece shows less stage props of divinity than in works that were created before this, such as gold rays or a seraphim or an angel. By this point, artists were interested in depicting lives of saints or stories from the Bible in fully naturalistic ways. There is an obvious narrative present here. Yes, yes, the stigmata has been reimagined here. He is getting them in this moment. The 15th century viewer would have been surprised to see this because they were trained to expect gold rays and other usual things present in depictions of religious paintings. Instead of the usual, there is now a supernatural light coming from the upper left of the painting. St. Francis's body is represented in browns and golds. The space he is in seems dark, but he himself is illuminated. He has a desk in the bottom right, and he has stepped away for a moment with his shoes off for the sacred moment of his vision from God. Even though some figures like the shepherd in the background and some animals pay attention, there is a sense of life continuing as this miracle happens. There is a sense that nature is enough to represent divinity here on earth. This represents how it would have really happened. There is symbolism throughout as well. His shoes being off is a symbol of Moses walking barefoot before God, and the grapevine present refers to the Eucharist. He was influenced by the Northern Renaissance in this painting. As they had symbolism in nature, this would have been comparable to the Marode altarpiece. There is a notion of the physical overlaying the spiritual. You can see perfectly the construction of his desk. The plants are perfectly clear, as everything in the painting. It all looks very real. There is also linear perspective here. You can follow the lines in the painting around St. Francis up to the area of divinity in the upper left. Beauty is infused with divinity, is central here, as well as in the Renaissance in general. St. Francis has been diminished. He is enhanced only by his inclusion in this full world. He is made divine by the landscape.